Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add JSON support to Windows Azure BizTalk services. We're going to look at two projects mainly. One is JSON Message Inspectors, which contains the conversion classes, and JSON Bridges, which contains the itinerary. So apart from the itinerary, we also have a purchase order schema, which contains a couple of elements on it. So first, let's start look at the inspectors. First one we have is the JSON to XML converter and the second one we have is XML to JSON converter. Let's look at the JSON to XML one first. As mentioned in the blog, we implement the iMessage inspector and and the execute method of the iMessage inspector. So the crux of this particular class is JSON convert.deserialize XML node, which takes in a JSON string and generates an XML document. So once the XML document is generated, we load that into a memory stream object and return that memory stream back to the execute method. With, this, with the new stream that we have, we assign that to the message.data property and also set the content type to the application.xml now that the conversion has happened from a JSON to an XML, object, uh, an XML scheme, uh, document. Similarly, the XML to JSON, we have the Newton soft JSON dot convert serialize object, which takes in an object and a specific type and generates a JSON text. We again take this JSON take text and load it into a memory stream and return back, which will, uh, which we assign to the message dot data property, and also set the application type to JSON. Now that we have this inspectors ready, we also have to strongly, uh, st we have to sign them with a strong key. After that, we need to reference these assemblies. The, all the um, all the inspectors as well as any dependent assemblies we need to add a reference to the JSON bridges so that when we deploy these are available to the BizTalk runtime. Now let's go look at the itinerary quickly. So we have a bridge call as any message type which is uh, it's it's the endpoint to which we send we will be sending messages and based on the routes that we have set up if the message that this any message type bridge is going to receive is application slash JSON is going to go to the JSON bridge and if it's going to receive a XML type it's going to go to the XML bridge. Now where are we getting this application JSON from? We are, going to, we are obviously not getting that from the message. So Bistock has a feature and Bistock services has a feature in which we can promote properties from various, from various sources. So here we are getting the content type property from the HTTP object, which has this property called as content type, uh, a type. We read it from that content type source and write it to a property called as type. So that's where we get the property promotion done from. So now that we have this pro property promoted, we can do different route. We can do different filters um, based on the content type. Now let's quickly look at a the JSON to XML demo. So I already have the necessary um, command line arguments set up. So let me quickly show you the message that we're going to use. So we, in this scenario, we're going to send a JSON object, and in the queue, we're going to look at an XML message. Let me open, yeah. So this is the JSON object that we're going to send. So let's call this demo one. And applied. Is.com. No, the JSON file is JSON PO.txt. So let's paste it here. Let's change quickly, change the file name. And let's go quickly back to the explorer. Uh, this is the service bus explorer. Let's make sure we don't have any messages in the queue. Let's just receive all of them so that we can drop messages to an empty queue. In the meantime, let's go back to the Windows Azure management, uh, BizTalk services management portal and let's go to the tracking and make sure we have the latest data. Okay, uh, looks like we don't have any messages in the XML queue.
okay so let's go ahead and quickly send this message jsonpo.txt which contains the values demo1 and uploadis.com see what happens so now that we have sent just waiting for the data to get no okay we saw finally that message has been sent successfully the tracking id for this is 6023089 let's go back to the service was explorer and make sure this message is sent to the message was queue there you go so we've converted this particular json text into an xml document now where are we getting these properties from? The person, the, the, the root node, the namespace from. So if you remember the classes that I showed you before, here's an XML converter. So these are the properties that we've exposed. The, the root node, the namespace, and the prefix. Now, once you have this created this, con um, if you go back to the JSON bridge, and this is where we are adding the the properties this is where we are setting the properties and in from this name space we are mentioning that when whatever message comes to this particular stage of this particular bridge use json to xml converter to convert that into json to xml and in order to and use these properties this is where we are setting it so that's the first part of the demo let's also look at the management portal make sure that uh, we have the latest messages 6023 so this this is where the this is this was this is a bridge that received it and just quickly look at the details so the content type it received was application json and it also promoted it into the type property and the next uh, chain or should i say that the next bridge in this particular chain is the json only bridge which we send it to and uh, if you look at the details so it, um, the next destination for that is PMPO XML one-way bridge, which actually sends the message to the queue, XML queue. That was the first part of the demo. So quick, let's quickly move on to the second one, wherein we're going to send an XML message, in and hope, uh, and this message would be used by this XML pass-through pipeline to convert it into a JSON message. So again, similar to the JSON to XML converter. We are going to mention that whatever message comes in, it has to use this particular class, this particular inspector from this particular namespace, and the the properties that it needs to be set is the type name, which is nothing but the root. That's the name of the um, class that we want our Newton's soft JSON serialized object serialized, ob serialized object method to use to convert and generate a JSON text. So if you let's visit back the XML to JSON converter. So this is the method. We want an object which we get from the stream and the class type, the property that we set in the in the in the itinerary. And some and default. We are not we're not setting anything, we're just using the default serialization settings. So now let's go back and use this. Again, I already have this parameters argument set up for us. So let's quickly send a message. Uh, I want to make sure that the uh, the values are set up correctly in the name of the file also. So let's set demo two. And the file name is xmlpo.xml. <laughs> this message send the tool that I'm using. It's available as a part of the SD uh, Bistock Services SDK. The parameters to it are the ACS namespace, the management client, and the access key, and also. Uh, the th these are the credentials and the endpoint that we're going to send it to is https aes vabs dot bistock dot windows dot net slash any message type so this is the bridge that um, th this is the first bridge let's go back to the itinerary this is the bridge that we are sending it to 
so let's send this message and hopefully we should be able to see another message in the JSON queue let's see oh, it, it already contains some messages and so let's receive all let's also go back and yeah the, it's, it's empty now so let's just send this XML so if everything works fine so we're gonna see uh, something uh, 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 JSON similar to this in the name we're gonna have demo2 and in the URL we're gonna have appliedas.com.au so let's send this guy out excellent so the tracking ID is 1b35da and let's refresh the JSON queue to make sure that we received all the messages okay we have one message and there we go the XML message has been converted from f uh, the, the message has been converted from XML to JSON so this so this particular bridge did the routing and this 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 bridge converted it into JSON to XML and this one from XML to JSON and placed it into the respective case To summarize, we've just seen how to use message inspectors to add JSON functionality to this <coughs> to Windows Azure BizTalk services. Thank you for watching.